Were you in the room for the famous whiteboard incident or the or the projector yeah. incident as they, they like to talk about? Yeah, yeah, the whiteboard. It was a whiteboard incident. Um yeah. Uh <laughs> that it's, was that was a pretty pretty surreal experience that. Um probably sorry I wouldn't handle it that way myself. Um yeah. but yeah, I suppose it's rugby league sometimes and it's a business at the end of the day, like it's just goes to show like a lot of people be quick to jump on like a player for looking after their family and sort of doing what's best for them. Um, and then you hear moments like that where literally like, I think it was like 13 players, um, their life was literally just turned upside down when a whiteboard was slipped around. You know what I mean? Like to, to think of it in that sense, is like how can you ever blame a player for wanting to like take care of themselves and take care of their family? Um, so yeah, I just think obviously it goes both ways. Like the players are able to to take care of themselves, and the clubs are able to take care of themselves. And I think there should probably be just a little bit less judgment on the players' behalf, especially like as I said, when when that kind of thing can happen. Yeah, I agree, and I thought it was I think it was hard when you look back on it, knowing that the coach left at the end of that year anyway. So. Um, 